Okay, good morning everyone. Um, kind of the way we did last time, I'm gonna start off by telling you today is May 31st at like 10.30 in the morning. And the reason I'm telling you this is because the last time I updated you guys, hi Phantom, uh, the last time I updated you guys on my running, I was just about to cross the 150 kilometer mark. Since then, I have continued running and today is the last day of May 50K, which is the official name for the MS fundraiser. But I am actually just about to cross the 200 kilometer mark. So I'm super excited. I have more than, you know, blown my expectations for myself out of the water. Um, I think I technically only have like eight kilometers left to go. I think I'm at 192 as of this morning. But I'm gonna go out and run one more 10K and it's gonna push me over the 200 kilometer mark. So I'm gonna get going because it's a beautiful day. There's no risk of rain today. I don't know if you can tell by the sun in the mirror back there, but uh, it is going to get very hot very fast. So I'm going to be very fast and I'm going to try and push this 10K and get it done before I melt into a puddle on the sidewalk. So I will update you guys when I get back. Okay, so I'm out of my run right now. I'm like in the middle of the sidewalk. I'm like paranoid that someone's gonna look at me vlogging, but I saw the cutest thing that I have to show you guys. Sorry, I'm like red and sweaty, but whatever. I have to show you guys this. This is so cute. You guys, that's so cute. Oh my God. That's absolutely adorable. That's so extra and I'm totally here for it. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday, Vicky, and happy anniversary. I just got wolf whistled at. I don't know if I should be annoyed or what, but I'm just like sitting here and I'm like, I don't know what you see. I see a bright red sweaty woman who is kind of dying right now, but they like honked. There's two guys in a car, they like honked their horn and they like wolf whistled at me and I'm like, I, I have no idea what they were seeing because it's not what I'm seeing right now. Ugh. All right, so I'm finally home. I can't tell if my sunburn has gotten worse or if I'm just hot and sweaty from running, but I officially passed the 200 kilometer mark. I'm so happy. I think my final is like 202.15 kilometers. So I am absolutely thrilled. And even then my fundraising has been amazing. My target was $500 and I think I'm sitting at 641 dollars fundraised for MS so I am just absolutely so thrilled and then of course pride starts tomorrow and I'm so excited because this is my first pride I, I'm gonna say being out even though it's kind of questionable because I'm still questioning but whatever this is my first pride being part of the community and even though where we live is like extreme lockdown measures right now like it's like there's debates whether or not they're gonna declare like martial law within the next few days where we're all like locked into our houses and everything but uh, this is still gonna be my first pride so I'm super excited um, I have to run to the store later because there's something that I want to try making I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it or not I don't okay I want to make it as a surprise for Charlie and Ilya but I'm kind of worried that if either of them watch the vlog they're gonna know what it is so I don't know if I should say what it is but I also kind of want to vlog what it is I'll figure it out. Mm. But yeah, so that brings me to an end for my fundraising for this year. Well, not fully because I'm doing another fundraiser like next month, but I'll talk about that later. But uh, my MS fundraiser for this year is done at least. I'm super happy with the results and I'm looking forward to getting to celebrate my first Pride Month as part of the community. Um, I really wish that we weren't still kind of in this lockdown phase because normally where we live has like a huge Pride Parade and everything else. Obviously that's not gonna happen this year, which is definitely kind of frustrating, but I mean, there's always next year and everything else, and I'm sure I can find out there's small ways to kind of celebrate. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I know I literally talked to you guys like two minutes ago, hi. But um, I just took off my shoes and socks and everything because I was gonna go and get in the shower because obviously I'm disgusting and sweaty after running 10 kilometers. My heels are trashed after this run. It's not good. So first we have two cats. It's like super hot today, so they're both like chilling in the bedroom because neither one of them wants to be like out in the sun in the living room. But my freaking heel, you guys, it's so bad. Oh God, I'm so white. Look, I was wearing a bandage and everything and it's still just like completely trashed. Oh, it hurts. Do you care? Excuse me, sir, do you care? There is nothing going on behind those eyes. 
absolutely nothing. Are you trying to play with his tail? Oh my god, do not start fighting, please. Hi friends, are we excited for the big reveal of my bald little head, my peachy guy, my buzz cut. Are you ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go! So dramatic for what? No. Yeah, I just got a head. Hello. So fuzzy. I like it a lot. Yeah, my head. I like it a lot. I think that um, next time I might buzz it to a three instead of a two because I don't really vibe with having this much scalp show through because you can't really see it on video, but in real life there is a little bit. So I need to even it out though because there's like little little uh, hairs that are sticking out and around my ears as well but um yeah I actually really like it um no bangs hitting me um I don't really have to wash it all that often um I like to rub it because I feel like a little peach and it's so soft oh it's so soft I love it but yeah, I think um, moving forward, I'll probably like keep it like this for maybe like a month or two. And then I'll let the top grow out and probably go to the barber and get a fade on the sides. And rock that for a little while. But yeah, really, really like it. I'm also happy to say that I'm done my exams. I'm like, ooh, it's such a weight off my shoulders. I spent so many hours typing out notes on my labs and making quizlets for my lectures and just... Whew, freak it out, but um, yeah, I got a good mark on my lecture exam, because that one was all multiple choice, so the mark for those came back really fast. My lab one, um, at first my professor said, oh, most of it's going to be multiple choice, but then it turned out to be mostly short answer. So, there was a lot of people who were really mad about that, because they didn't have a lot of time to uh, do all the questions, but I did, so I'm happy about that, <laughs> at least. It was open book, so control find helped me so much. I really recommend if you're doing an open book online, um, do something to transfer your notes into text or keep your text open or something, your, your course materials or whatever, and then switch the tab if you need it, control find keywords, and then you're golden. Honestly, you are so much faster than flipping through papers, in my opinion, at least. I mean, it might work for you. But, um, yeah, now moving on to the second half of, uh, the course, my human anatomy and physiology, uh, all stuff that I didn't know beforehand, so, <sighs> my first lab is huge, it's so, it's so big that I didn't bother stapling it, I put a binder ring on it, because <laughs> it's so big, there's so many diagrams, I'm gonna die, literally gonna die, but it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, oh my gosh. I might repot um, Daryl, my basil plant, later because he's getting big. So we'll see if that happens. Hello, friends. It is hot as balls out here, uh, but I got my my main man, Daryl. He's a big dude, so big. I'm gonna take him from this little guy to this bigger guy. See, they're they're pretty different sizes. Got some potting mix. Do this together folks. I love getting my hands dirty. I really should do more gardening. I like it a lot. But yeah, it's so hot. We're going through a heat wave. I'm dying. You know, the usual. I think I'm gonna still bring him inside because he's gonna get scorched out here. And like he's my house plant, so I think on the bottom. On the bottom. You know, you gotta give him more roots to grow. I'm so proud that you're so big. Okay, it's pretty dry right now, so I think I'll just... Yep, there we go. Look at all those roots! Look at them roots! But yeah, he's gonna like this much better. Gently peel that back. I gotta water him after this too, because like... It's so hot out here, he's probably just gonna get like all dried out already. And stuff. And yes, I know I'm getting this everywhere, but it does not matter. But yeah, didn't you see him? All of his roots, he needs more room. I'm not gonna pack it tight, I'm just gonna let him chill. Let him vibe, honestly. That's what I need to do, I need to vibe. But yeah, well done.
big dude. <laughs> well, here is Daryl, and here is Chad, the big boy. So big. Honestly, I might um, end up clipping this little um, section off because he's a little, he's little and he needs some room to be by himself. But yeah, look how big. Damn. <laughs> he's a tall guy. Chad. All right, no, Daryl I'm kind of worried about because I heard that if they sprout that it means they're dying and I don't want him to die because he's cute. But eh, who knows? Guys, look. It's a family of deer. They like just disappeared into the side there. There they go. Oh, it's like a mom and two fawns. That's so cute. They were so cute. Hi guys, it's way too bright to see me apparently. I'm so sorry. Um, we're actually just heading back from the cottage. I hope you can hear, hold on, I should do it with my window. Hey. Eh. So hi, oh my God, it's like super bright. I can't see you. I don't know if you can see me. I kind of hope you can. Um, we're just heading back from the cottage. Oh my God, it's only getting brighter. <laughs> um, we're just heading back from the cottage. I ended up not vlogging it because nothing really exciting happened. We kind of went up to like turn on the water pump and all of that stuff. But we're just heading back to the city now. I'm gonna be coming up next week and I'll probably vlog a majority of that because I'm gonna be on my own for like an entire week. I'm bringing the boys with me. And by the boys, I don't mean like men because I'm ace, y'all know that at this point. Um, but I am bringing my cats with me. Um, yeah, that's about it. You know, most people are bringing boys home. I just have my boys at home, so. But uh, yeah, so next week you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of the cottage and everything because I'm gonna be there for like almost an entire week. Um, coming up tomorrow, Aaliyah and I actually have to film the vlog. She's finally coming out of quarantine. It's been forever and a day, but we need to film content for the vlog. So we're gonna be getting together within the next couple of days to do that. We're probably gonna do like an entire sit down day and everything else. So, I mean, I haven't seen her in, I think, three weeks at this point, just due to quarantine, travel, and everything else for her. So I'm kind of excited to see her again. It's been a hot minute. And then um, I have that exciting recipe that I haven't told you guys what I'm making yet. I'm gonna be making it later next week. So basically what I'm saying is that, yes, this week was exceedingly boring for me, but next week will be exceedingly exciting for me. So, sorry for no content. I love you guys, bye. Hello friends, I just wanted to pop back on and say thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check us out on all our social media. We have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, TikTok, uh, Instagram if I didn't already say that, but I probably already did. Um, we got everything, so be sure to check us out. And thank you so much for watching. We love you. And so does Tumblr. Okay, bye bye.